Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this one, I will show you how you can unwrap this kind of complex puzzles. This kind of puzzles, if you know about UV unwrapping, are quite challenging to unwrap. Why? Because the structure of this bottle is not straight. We have these diagonal edges. So I will show you a great way, a great method to unwrap this kind of puzzles. And this is the result. Before getting into the tutorial, I want to mention my Patreon page as you are going to find more content on my Patreon page. If you're interested, you can find the link below. Now let's get back to the tutorial. Firstly, let's find these objects and switch to the UV layout. I will select my bottle, select all the polygons and click on reset UV. So let's say that this is the artwork that your client sent and your client is going to be probably really picky about their identity, their logo. So there should not be distortion, especially in the middle section of this artwork. But when we look at the bottle we have, the structure of it, the edge flow is not straight, which will make the UV unwrapping process quite challenging. But we have a great tool for this kind of really complex and non-straight shapes, which is called interactive mapping. But first of all, let me get rid of these flat polygons. I'm going to hit V, select Funk Break Selection Tool. Select these by holding shift and click on UV Unwrap. Then I will move them away. Then I will also hide these polygons. I selected, then I will double click on that polygon island. Then click on Start Interactive Mapping. Let's change this to cylindrical. We need to adjust the position of, of that tool. Let's go to the top view. Uh, let's go to the coordinates and zero out X and Y. Then I will go to the front view. Hit T, scale that. I will try to mesh this roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, something like that. Now, once we have done that, I will come over here and click on Stop Interactive Mapping. Okay, let's look at the UVs. These are looking fine, except for that seam. We want usually something a straight line or cut or edge loop for, for a seam. So I will go into polygon mode. I will select rectangle selection tool and select these polygons only. Then I will hit E, move these to the other side. Then I will enable snap and snap these matching points. Perfect. Now let's see if we have any kind of distortion. So I will open up UV map. Let's turn this off. And this is looking nearly perfect, except for the top section. Why? Because 2D, or you can call this UV layout, should be related to the 3D shape. And if you look at the shape, the top section of this bottle narrows as it goes up. But the top section of this UV layout doesn't narrow as it goes up. So that's why we are getting this distortion. In order to fix that, I will use a brute force way. So first, let me make a loop selection, then fill selection, hold down control to convert them into points. Then I will right click and click on UV transform tool and I will scale this vertically. This is going to remove most of the distortion. But as I said, this is going to be a brute force way. Then let's hold on control, deselect these points. This time I will only move these points vertically. Okay, something like that. I know this is not perfect, but it is much better than the previous version. We are not done yet because I want these boxes as square as possible. So I will select them all. Right click, click on UV transform tool, and I will start to scale this vertically. So hold on shift. Yeah, something like that is going to be okay for us. I will hit E to exit the tool. Now let's see if our artwork is going to work or not. I will go back to the standard mode. Let's go into the model mode. I will create a material, double click, and I will. Add in a texture knot, texture, add this one in. Then I will bring in the texture I showed you in the beginning, which is this one. Say no, I will connect this to the color. 
then I will put that material on the bottle. Let's increase up the resolution of this material. So double click on it, go to viewport and change this to 1K. Okay, first thing first, if you look at the back, we have a perfect seamless transition. That line is looking perfect. Then I think the position of the UVs are not right. We need to move them up. So I will go back to the UV edit. Select the bottle, select the mall, and right click UV transform tool and move these up. Okay, it looks like I scaled that up too much. So I will scale this again. Okay, this is looking perfect. Let me orbit around. And yeah, this is looking quite well. Now let's hit V, click on show all. Or we can also put these ones. I don't know. We can try to put these UV islands on, on an on an orange part. Scale that down and it is supposed to be somewhere here. Yeah. I mean this is not the most proper way. But as long as it looks good, we are gonna be okay. If you have more time, obviously you can work more on these sections, but this is looking perfect. Let's unite this. By the way, yeah, I know. This is not the head that you would put on, on an orange juice bottle. But anyway. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. That was a little bit fast, but if you have more time, obviously you are gonna get better results. By the way, I don't say that this UV is completely distortion free because I scaled that manually by hand. If you know a better solution or better workflow, just let me know and I will see you in the next ones. By the way, if you have any questions, just let me know and bye.